today's life motto will be, it is what it is. So I do have that hanging up above the door. Here in the Taco Stacks warehouse. So today, uh, it's going to be a little bit different, a little bit chill of a video. Uh, we're going to kind of just go through some things I have in the warehouse. A lot of people have been asking to organize the warehouse, and yes, I do have quite a collection of stuff. Oh, who's that? Don't know. But I do have a collection of stuff back here. License plate wall blossoming as well. But as you see, it's kind of a disaster. So what I try to do is kind of go through a couple of these boxes up front. And what I try to put them back there. But I'll kind of go through some of them because people have asked about my flea market inventory. So we'll do a little bit of that. All right, so I hope that won't. We're good. Uh, so the first box right here is actually on the floor. So we're going to just try, you know, I'll probably even show off this. This is a very nice barometer. Pretty confident. I found this in the trash not too long ago. Uh, it looks like it's made by Springfield. Nice barometer. Uh, something like this. It's just really just a wall decor. People really don't use these for their intended purposes. This one has the eagle on top. Very, very common with the bicentennial. Uh, here is a bunch of there's everyone's driving around today. Here's a bunch of scarves. People are kind of interested in this. Do have quite the collection now. I'm trying to remember where I possibly picked up all these scarves. I think this scarf. I don't even know what it says on the bottom. Very nice. I'm kind of thinking this came out of that one storage unit that had the mattress. You guys might be like, well, every storage unit had a mattress. This also had a grill in it. It's very, very clean. I went up to Scranton. I think I paid like $80 for it. It had some, I can't remember, it had some really expensive boots in it. This, I don't know what I'm grabbing. This looks like a woman's top. So I'm just grabbing whatever it looks like. I really didn't even, well, this is why you kind of got to go through this stuff eventually. There's fake flowers at the bottom. A fake poinsettia plant flower. So, uh, one thing is, we got also some more scarves. Looks like plastic Easter bunny. Bank. Plastic Easter, or plastic bank. The lighting is kind of weird in here. Look, everything looks really, really pale and very white. Why does that look so, well, this is very, very, it's a nice color, I should say. Uh, very, very nice. Probably an older bank. It has no name on the bottom. It's sort of like a blow mold style as well. It has the side seam. Maybe I'll let the movie, guys. I know. The sunlight looks pretty good. Everything kind of looks like it's all in distress in the back. But I'll take this aside because, well, this really doesn't go with this stuff. And I don't think people are buying... Well, I guess somebody who might be buying scarves might also want that bank. But I think this is a great Lambertville piece. Probably can get 5 or $10 for this. Maybe 5 bucks. So... Uh, kind of neat. I'm trying to make up a little pile from Lambertville. It's kind of my better stuff. It's more stuff like this, the vintage antique stuff. Not necessarily primitives, but just more antique-like. So moving right along, I definitely want to get down to this one box. We have a box. Bunch of shoes. I've been kind of saving my Jordans and my Nikes for Box Truck Guy. His son uh, actually buys and sells sneakers. So stuff like this, I know he will sell. Um, it's not really worth much online, uh, unless they're mint condition, usually adult sizes. Something like this, I generally sell for like a dollar or three dollars a pair. He will then take this to a show and do like a, like a, a swap meet kind of show. And he might get ten or fifteen dollars a piece or a pair. So uh, I try to save stuff like that for him. We also have another pair of Jordans, which I'm pretty confident came out of a storage unit. All right, so actually the battery just died on the camera, so I went back and uh, and uh, got a new battery. But go ahead, 
It's actually a whole box of silver plate. I'm trying to remember where I bought this silver plate from, unless this might just be a... Oh, okay, I know what this is. This is a whole box of miscellaneous stuff. So when I went to that one auction, I bought, I don't know, six or seven uh, remainder lots for a dollar. They're all table lots. And I said, oh, I might go to five acres. I should have went to five acres. This was just all bits and pieces out of one of the... Uh, one of the table lots that I end up grabbing. So I'm actually not gonna move that. However, put it over here, just so we can kind of go through. Here we have a nice, looks like a vase. It's kind of interesting. Really, really nice pewter candlesticks. Those are awesome. Very, very cool. Um, quite a decent amount. Here's some more silver plate. However, this box, I think I'm going to put aside. This is going to be another Lambertville box. I know Blue Bus Dave and Paper and Moose, they go there a lot. And I know Blue Bus Dave does buy a lot of pewter. And I did talk to him, and he said around there, the scrapyards pay a pretty decent amount for it. Around here, it's pretty much not worth anything. So I was actually going to see if the scrapyards would even pay me or uh, let me buy some. But I just don't think scrapyards around here get a lot of pewter in. Uh, it's not like a metal that they come across a lot and mostly a lot of people probably don't end up just scrapping this they'll probably just donate it or throw it out so we'll take this box and put it aside ton of stuff just flying everywhere. Put that back in there as well. Whole box of those snowbirds. Uh, what I intend to do is try to get back there and just try to like pile stuff up onto that that wall uh, just so I can kind of get back there and have more space because a lot of dead open space right there. box of assorted stuff that came out of that one storage unit that I was talking about with the scarves, I think. Alright, got a little walkway now. So this is actually, I think, the damaged guitar that I got. This isn't the Fender. Oh, no, this is the Fender. Alright, so I saw another guitar over in the entranceway. Right, we'll get there shortly. This, I think I looked up online, is like 40 bucks. Um... Great guitar, entry-level entry guitar, but for $40, I don't want to really pack it and ship it. I just, it's too fragile. Too fragile. It's too fragile. Uh, <laughs> just adding words like fragile and valuable. Um, but it's too fragile to ship. After fees and everything, it's just like, why don't you just bring in a flea market? Try to get $25 for it. it. It's, if you've been doing YouTube for a long time, or you've been, losing it, if you've been doing eBay for a long time, uh, you'll realize there's a lot of things where if you can make a certain amount of money that day, it's just really not worth the headache of dealing with possible returns or breaking or just dealing with a lot of other issues. If you can get money like that, sometimes it's better to just do that than sit around and try to make yourself another three or five, three to five bucks. Versace, Versace, Versace. Versace, 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 Versace. I'll tell you a secret. It's Versace. Empty uh, perfume cases sometimes bring some value. Here's some noise in the background. I bet we're going to have a tractor here in a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey. So I'll put that aside. This is just a made in China kind of a uh, treasure chest. Yep, 
Here's that one plate that I received in the trash the other day. Right about two weeks ago. That over there. All right, I did want to kind of see what was in these Philly boxes. Philly cigar box. These are snowbirds. I've got a ton of questions when I talked about them last time. These are snowbirds. Uh, some of them are shaped like birds. These are not really shaped like birds. They go on your roof. So if your roof goes up on an angle, they sit on your roof like that. And it is essentially to kind of melt the snow before the snow, or at least hold the snow intact while it melts. Uh, before it kind of turns to ice and you get like a bad wind or at one time all the snow or ice comes down in one shot This will hold it up there. So if somebody's walking below uh, They won't get absolutely demolished by a sheet of ice off the entire roof in one shot So that's kind of the purpose of these. Uh, they're very very popular on older homes If you look up, it's kind of like insulators. don't know if I have an insulator around here which insulators are something, but an insulator is kind of like one of those things where you really w wouldn't know what it is if you just saw it and you weren't really around antiques a lot. But if you ever look up at telephone poles, you'll see little like dots. That's what an insulator is. It's that dot uh, for the wire, uh, I guess holds the wire. Um, but those are also pretty collectible. However, you wouldn't really see those if your electric is underground, if it's buried. So, I understand. A lot of people just don't see these kind of things. But I did want to see what was in this Philly box, if there is anything. Tools. All right, some clamps. All right. I think I found this in a storage unit. Decent time ago. Those are more sandpaper pieces. I did buy, wow, this is going back. Bought four or five cases at an auction. You guys might remember this. I've also bought like a, uh, a live edge slab of wood and it had all sorts of deer antlers inside them or on the, the, uh, the edge of wood, not the edge of wood, on the, the middle of the wood. And I bought like four or five cases of sandpaper. I did end up having them on eBay. I think I had them up there for like three months. I saw them three or four for ten bucks. They're like four dollars or three dollars a piece on Amazon. I ended up selling like two or three lots after three or four months of listing them. And I had probably well over 500 of these. And finally I took them off eBay because it was just taking up so much space and I just wasn't really selling them, but I made my money back and then I sold the rest at the flea market. I still seem to have a whole case here. I will be using these in the future for sanding videos on furniture and stuff like that. So uh, pretty good that I found these because hey, you never know what you have in your own inventory. That's for sure. Other things I kind of have up there, whoa, a little focus, Get a little focus going, there we go. Bunch of these horses. These also can probably be organized a little bit better so I can throw one of these boxes up there. We have more space for treasure. This box says careful on it, which is awesome. It's always fun to kind of go back and see what you have. I don't know if this came out of a storage unit. I guess auction could very well be that auction I was at where I bought the uh, remaining rows. I think it was because I ended up grabbing a ton of these. So I never even went through these. So you never really know what you have. It's kind of nice. Made in Japan. Made in Occupy Japan. Like just a bunch of chinaware, fine porcelain. This feels like a pie plate. More porcelain there. Ah, 
No. That'd be bird feed <laughs> for goldfinches. It's just going to be an, a thing that you just take to the flea market. I don't really, I'm not going to say I don't support the birds, but I don't really do that whole bird food stuff. That looks like a washer dryer hose or a washer hose. You're hot in cold water. Oh, look at that. A little Enterprise. The meat grinder. And a slab of... I don't know what this is. Oh, it's not a slab. It's kind of like a little case for maybe a notepad, possibly. Put some monies in there. I saw this handle... And I was like, wow, is that a key? It's not. Looks like a meat grinder. Somebody might want this. The weird thing about selling at flea markets is people really want, like, the most random stuff. Like, you think that they'd want collectibles and higher-end items. People will literally buy that for, like, two or three bucks because they don't want to go out and buy one at Home Depot three months from now or six months from now for ten bucks. Nice little McDonald's plush, 1981. I know. Last year I was really, really good with organizing my flea market pile and I just kind of stacked it all up into a corner. This year I just have so many odds and ends. Barrel. Box. Probably throw that box on top, but then you can't throw anything on top of that because it's soft. Maybe we'll do that because I'm not going to put anything else. There we go. Bam. Just like that. This odds and end thing. For the back of a dresser. This is the mirror. Missing the mirror. No idea what's in that box, but... Oh, I'm going to guess uh, fire extinguishers, probably. That's why I bought, like, a million fire extinguishers. Tons of tools. Oh, those are all the bingo sheets found in the trash. So, yeah, here's all the bingo sheets. Very cool. So one thing, as you guys probably know from my channel, is I generally try to pick this stuff out of the trash, if you guys follow my trash picking videos, uh, and I try to resell it. I know a lot of YouTubers just do these videos for videos and ad revenue, and they just end up throwing away everything they find in storage units. Not the case here. I try to sell it. I try to repurpose it. I try to reuse it. So that's why you end up having so much random stuff, is because, well, I end up storing it. Try and do something with it down the line. Kind of the whole thing of my YouTube channel is repurposing and reusing and recycling. Another cool box here. Here's that silver plate that we had from earlier. Uh, but I did have, or I did buy a row lot. It's kind of funny in a way. For this one croc, uh, which is chipped or cracked or something. I remember, there it is. It's cracked right there. I remember not buying it intentionally because I was like, well, that's cracked. No one's going to really want that. But I am an absolute sucker for these crocs and stoneware stuff, jugs. Even if they are cracked, for some reason, I feel like people would want them. However, there are these old croquet wooden balls, which were at the antique mall as well. And someone had three or four for about $8 a piece. So right now I have... Well, that guy's missing a whole chunk. Something like that goes just fine. There are, I just want to make sure there's nothing at the bottom of that jug. We have a total of four decent ones. One down there as well, and then one half chunked one. So I do like these. These are really cool. Uh, good thing I don't hoard things because something like this I would probably save for myself right now. Alrighty. So now I have a little bit of space right here to walk. Very, very cool. I know before it was kind of a tight fit to make it through this corner. This Costco cart kind of has to go. I know James and Jess, oh, this is a violin case that I got out of. 
that one auction where I bought all the remaining rows, it is completely shot in terms of, I think the violin inside is just completely destroyed. Um, but we'll say that for another time. Uh, the case itself is very, very nice. Old wooden case. Costco cart probably will go to James and Jess. House of Goods, uh, they usually buy a lot of those off me, and I think they do pretty well with selling them. Uh, so although that is kind of in the way, I might be able to throw that cart back in this corner. However, it is serving its purpose. Maybe I can throw some things down there, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit different. Sunday, anything goes video as always. I want to try to continue to do these through April. We'll see how well they do. We'll see how much you guys enjoy them and girls like them. Uh, because they are still a lot of fun to do something completely different from the usual. Uh, and yeah, thank you for coming along and looking at what I still haven't treasured in, in terms of storage. And thanks for coming along see what I still have in storage in terms of treasure. Uh, did make some space, kind of shoved some things over there as well. And down the line, I'll probably fill in that dead space in the corner. But yeah, lots of odds and ends. Didn't really know how many odds and ends I had until I kind of came up here and was like, wow. Those horses, the tractor, the computer, that vase, the dresser, mirror that's missing the mirror. So, lots of random things. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming along with another Sunday Adventure video. If you guys enjoyed it, smack the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts if you guys are curious where I find this stuff. And of course, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for our next adventure. Thank you for coming along, and until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.